slow computer. Slow, slow computer. Can't tell if I'm live yet. No circle of death. I think we're good. Hey, good morning. If you're in the morning part of the world, good day. We're going to start this morning, today, lying down on our mats, as demonstrated by the capable Carl. And just enjoying gravity. I talk in my yoga teaching about the three anchors, our meditation props that we have with us all the time. And one of those, fortunately, is gravity. And encompassed within that is the earth. Through gravity, the earth kind of hugs us to itself and supports us. So just allowing that to happen, allowing the body to lean in, sink in to the support of the earth, the support of gravity. Close your eyes, notice where your attention is being called within your body. Another of my three anchors, checking in within the body. And I define the body as our whole self. So when we turn in, it might not only be the physical body where our attention is being called. It might be any number of our bodily systems. It might be an energetic system. It might be what we may call our mind or our spirit or our emotional body. And the third anchor is our breath. So bring our attention to the flow of the breath. And we can choose, we can exert control on the breath, or we can simply observe the breath as it naturally is right now. And in yoga, we often use the breath to initiate our movement. So let's inhale, reach the fingers up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the shoulders into the mat. Nice wide chest. We're going to inhale, wrap the arms around our chest and shoulders, giving ourselves a hug. Exhale, allow ourselves to sink into the support of gravity. Inhale here, exhale, just turning our upper body one way, rolling the upper back on the mat, really subtle. Inhale, unroll back to centre. Exhale, roll it the other way. And inhale, roll back to centre. Just keep doing that in your own breath. You can have the knees bent or extended, whatever feels nice. You can also use your fingertips to massage out any tight spots around your shoulders and armpits.
And on our next inhale, we move back at centre. We'll unwrap the arms, reach them up. This time, exhale, wrap them the other way. Inhale, relax into that hug, relax into the earth. And exhale, starting to roll again to one side. Inhale, centre. Exhale, roll. Let the head go with you if it feels nice. And keep going in your own breath, maybe massaging out with the fingertips. Really enjoying that massage that the earth is giving you on your upper back. And when you feel even, come back to centre. Let's all bend the knees. Let the arms relax to the floor, unwrapping your hug. And we'll just take the knees side to side, doing that same thing with the lower back, the back of the pelvis. You can go as deep as you like. I'm just taking it gently here, first thing in the morning. And you can use that same breath pattern, exhaling to twist, inhaling to centre. Next time you come back to centre, stabilise here. We're going to take the right leg up in the air. If you like, you can grab behind the leg with your hands and let the leg relax into your hands. And we're just going to wiggle that right foot around a little bit, making circles. And the other way. And point of flex through that right foot. And then we're going to take the left leg, start to stretch it out along the floor, just going nice and gently. Notice how that feels in your right leg with the left leg extended. And allow the left thigh to drop into the floor. Coming into a little bit of nerve flossing for our neck. So flex the right foot. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to point the right toes and just tuck the head up, tuck the chin. Just the head. Inhale, lower the head, flex the foot. Exhale, point the foot, lift the head. Egg, sorry, inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and lift. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and lift. Inhale, flex and lower. One more. Exhale, point and lift. And inhale, flex and lower. This time we're going to do some roll ups. So inhale in here, relax the torso into the floor. As we exhale, we're going to press our leg into our hands, and that's going to drag us all the way up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't help when your bubble weight is pumping you with your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, sit up nice and tall, wide collarbones. Exhale, we lift that same right leg, and the weight of that leg will bring us down. Nice. Inhale, relax the torso into the floor. Exhale, press the leg into the hand. Good. Just momentum, really. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, lift the leg, come down. 
Inhale, relax into the floor. Exhale, use that leg to press us up. Hello. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, come down. We've got one more. Inhale, relax into the floor. Exhale, press it up. Whew. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, come down. Beautiful. Bend that right knee, bring the foot to the floor. And we're going to take the left leg up. You can grab onto it with the hands if you want. We're just going to circle that left foot. Notice how that feels in the leg and the calf. And go the other way. And point and flex. I've been doing a bit of ballet and there's this cool thing you can do, which is quite relevant to yoga, where Let's say I start with a pointed foot, I'm going to flex my toes and then flex my foot and then point my foot and then point my toes. Flex my toes, flex my foot, point my foot, point my toes. So the idea, the idea there is just separating out the metatarsal, the ball of the foot joint, from the heel, the ankle joint. Quite fun. Okay, let's do our flossing. So flexing the foot, relaxing the torso onto the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, point the foot, lift the head. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and lift. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and lift. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and lift. Inhale, flex and lower. Last one. Exhale, point and lift. And inhale, flex and lower. Beautiful. Coming into that extension with the right leg, preparing for our roll-ups or sit-ups. Neither of those is quite the right word. They all mean something else. But anyway, relax that right thigh into the floor. Nice long right leg. Inhale, relax the torso into the floor. Exhale, press the left leg into the hands, up we come. And inhale, widen the upper chest, sit tall. Exhale, lift the leg, come and down. Inhale, relax into the floor. Exhale, press the leg, coming up. Inhale, sit tall. Good. Exhale, lift the leg, come down. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press the leg, come up. Inhale, widen the collarbone, sit tall. Exhale, lift the leg, come down. Got one more. Inhale, relax into the floor. Exhale, press the leg, come up. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, lower the leg, come down. Beautiful work. Let's bend that left knee, bring the foot to the floor and extend the leg. From here, if you have room, we're going to reach the arms overhead. Nice. Putting your couch is fine. Inhale, reach fingers and toes away from each other. Get really low. Exhale, we're going to bend the knees and curl to a ball. Inhale, here, round the back, tuck the elbows in. Exhale, release all the way out. We're going to do that once more. Inhale, reach really long. Exhale, curl into your little egg shape. Inhale, curl. And exhale, just release the torso down. Keep hugging the knees in. The only reason I'm releasing the torso down really is so I can talk, if I like to talk. Now, you can grab your feet, you can grab in front of your knees, you can grab behind your knees. We are going to curl up and we're going to start rocking. So really keep your head tucked in. We're going to inhale, rock back, and exhale, rock forward. And it's totally fine to kick with those lower legs. Because eventually, we're going to rock all the way up into a boat. It just kind of happens. Nice. So 
So lift that chest, draw the shoulders back. Maybe you can bring the shins parallel to the floor, maybe the toe in the whole room. They're all totally valid boats that will get you from A to B as long as you don't put a hole in them. So all boats and no torpedoes. If you like, you can release the arms. Really lift the centre of the chest forward and up. Beautiful. Gently bring the legs down. And we're going to come to seated. From which we're going to do a delightful and very technical transition to hands and knees. We're going to come straight into an extended cat cow. So this is the one where we go between child's pose and a kind of a cobra foot facing dog situation. So let's start in child's pose. And on the inhale, we're going to come forward, swim the chest between the hands and lift. You can lift your knees if you like or not. Exhale, bring the knees down, round back to that child's pose. Beautiful. Inhale, arch from the chest forward, lift, optional knee lift. Exhale, round back. Beautiful. Inhale, arch from that chest through and up, lift out of your shoulders. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Just hang out in child's pose for a little bit. If you like, you can gently roll your head side to side, massaging your forehead on the floor. And we're going to take a side bend here. So taking your hands, walking them over towards the left-hand side of your space, or the right, doesn't really matter, fanning the ribs open. Really breathe space between all those ribs on your extended side. And then gently walk the hands over to the other side. So we're reaching the hands towards one corner, the ribs open towards the other front corner. Breathe into that side. Walking the hands back to centre. We're going to take the twister child. So I'm going to take one arm, reach it up, and thread it underneath the opposite shoulder, looking towards the arm I'm threading. Turning my head to the side. This other arm can be a convenient pillow, or you can reach it forward, or you can drape it behind. Enjoying that upper body twist, maybe a bit of a stretch around the shoulder blade. And gently unwind. Um, thread. And we'll go the other way. So lift the other arm, thread it under, looking towards it. And choosing your own adventure with that first arm. Just checking in with your ankles. Gravity, the earth. With your feelings and sensations in your body. 
and with your breath. Gently unwind. And we'll slowly make our way to kneeling. We'll start by tucking the toes under. And swimming out on our heels. Just getting that nice stretch through the whole back body from the backs of the toes, backs of the feet. And while we're here, we're just going to work our posture. So just thinking about the triangle of the sacrum pointing down. Maybe there's a little engagement in the low belly. Let's just take a big inhale. Lift the arms. Feel the whole ribcage lift up out of the hips. And keep that lift through the ribcage as you relax the arms. Feel that engagement all around the waist. Let the shoulders soften. Maybe taking a little tuck in your chin so you can feel an opening through the base of the skull at the back. And then gently easing off of the feet, we'll come to hands and knees. Softly put a pedal out of your feet. Rest into the tops of the feet, lift out the palms, we're just going to hover the knees. Keep reaching the crown of the head straight forward, the base of the sacrum straight back. Keep that posture, that feeling of engagement, of length. And then gently lowering your knees. This time we've got options. We can bring the feet and knees together, tops of the feet on the floor, and sit back onto our heels. And this variation of hero pose is really nice for a little lean back, maybe keeping that long line of your spine. You can use your finger. Maybe lifting the knees, feeling that nice stretch through the tops of the feet, front of the ankle. Good. Keep lifting your chest. Good. And imagine you can squeeze your heels towards each other. And gently releasing, coming out of it, back on hands and knees, little pitter patter, if it feels good. And then we're going to tuck the toes under and do that hover again. So we lift out of our palms, we turn our soft and the elbows forward, and we lift, feel that belly engage to support the length of your spine. Base of the sacrum reaches back, crown of the head reaches forward. Softly release the knees to the mat, release the toes. Now we're going to try another variation of hero pose. So for this one, we're going to have the knees are a little closer than the toes, but we're pressing the tops of the feet into the floor. And the idea is we're going to send our hips between our heels. And you might find that your hips do not touch the ground in this position and you might want a blank blanket. What is this? This is a cushion. <laughs> cushion conveniently sits between my feet. You want to try that? Um, or your right, I'm looking for the block. But... Uh, the block is being used to prop up the oh. computer. So okay. we also have a handy box set. So I'm just touching the floor. I'm going to probably be fine here, but I'm going to use my cushion. And this one is a little harder on the knees. We've got a wee bit of internal rotation on the thighs, which is really nice for me because that's the way my thighs want to go. And then just make sure you're pressing all your toenails into the mat. You can even reach back and give yourself a foot massage in this version, which is awesome. And then slow business, you can take a lean back. For this one, I like to come onto my palms, just tuck my pelvis under a little bit. And then some days it feels okay to come down onto forearms 
And then there's this convenient couch here that I can rest my head on as I press my knees down to the mat. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you feel that? Um, yeah. So if the lower back feels unhappy with this, don't go any further. Really lengthen that tailbone towards the knees. The other thing we want to look for is any knee pain. Any knee pain, we don't go any further with this. But it's really nice to be able to press into those hands and lift the chest so we've got a little back bend. So see if you can maybe even straighten your arms and get that little lift, slide the shoulder blades down, maybe looking up. Good. Make sure you've got a nice long neck. So for this one, I'm not focusing on bringing my torso down, I'm focusing on bringing my chest up. And then very gently come out of it. You can remove your prop. And we're going to take Shavasana on our fronts today. If you're like, no, that's mental, don't do that, that's weird. <laughs> you can go onto your back. And I'm just going to make a pillow for my head. Bend my knees and windshield wiper, my lower legs side to side, feeling the hips rock. Really nice. And that lower back and hips after that little back bend we did in Harry's pose. And then extending the legs. Just allowing yourself to flop into the floor. Find anywhere comfortable for your arms. I'm allowing myself a whole lot of internal rotation here. My arms are rolling in. My legs are rolling in. And it feels nice, but it's also working with gravity here. Working with my body. See if you can feel the breath fill the back of your body here. See if you can feel the breath expand the front of the body as it progresses onto the floor. Just check in with your inner universe. Notice spots calling your attention. And give it some attention. As impartially as you can. Notice where your mind is. And bring it to one of your anchors. The breath, the body, the earth.
And often when you feel like moving again, just gently start to wiggle, rock, whatever feels nice. And in your own time, in your own way, bring yourself up to a nice comfortable seat. Close your eyes, reorientate yourself. On your inhale, reach the arms out and up. Join the palms at the top and exhale, bring the hands to heart centre. We'll close this practice with the sound of peace and consciousness, the sound of Om. Inhale. Oh. tonight at 5 30 that's new zealand time of course i'll drop the link in the comments thank Have you a great day. thank you